we're going to be trying out the Dark Matter Hero Lock-In Minute Bowl in NBA 2K23. My team is going to be a 99 overall center power forward, a card that's going to cost over 10 million MT easily. I would say maybe even closer to 15 million MT for this one singular card, and he looks to be the best card in my team. But we'll, we'll check him out here, you know, in freestyle, take a look at his jump shot, and then hop into a game and see what Minute Bowl does look like. But 7'7", seven seven, and can play the center and power forward position, which is extremely nice to have as well so you can run that cheesy lineup of Manu at the power four position with Yao Ming at center we take a look at his stats 88 three ball 89 mid range 95 in the standing dunk 95 in the driving dunk I mean the cards just going to be amazing on the defensive side of things because of his wingspan also being eight foot five and has one of the best player models in the game his rebounding is going to be elite he's also got I think base 83 speed and 83 acceleration you definitely want to give a, a shoe boost to this card like this person's on the account did uh, he gave him a plus four speed plus four acceleration which is super smart to do and then he's got like 90 strength and a pretty decent lateral quickness he's gonna have 40 base hall of fame badges including back down punisher bully drop stepper fast twitch masher posterizer rise up agent three blinders catch and shoot claymore comeback hit corner specialist dead eye green machine guard up limitless range bailout dimer post playmaker unpluckable vice grip anchor chase on artist clamps glove interceptor post lockdown pogo stick work of course, box obese, rebound chaser, and brick wall as well. Then he's got 11 gold badges as well. I mean, this card is basically going to be the perfect and best card in the game currently in my team. I do want to give a massive shout out though to Turbo. Big shout to him. A big shout out to him for number one locking in the set. I also think he has a whole hollow collection which just looks absolutely fire. I don't think the lock and minute bowl though is a hollow, which is super disappointing. But I mean, look at this set. That just looks absolutely clean, you know, in game. But yeah, now let's hop into freestyle here and test on minute bowl's jump shot, his dribble six, all the type of stuff and see how the card does move. Just need to quickly change the camera settings. Uh, just in case I do actually get this uh, question asked a lot on, like, on YouTube and just like Twitter and Twitch. These are my camera settings. Zoom is on three and height is on 10, just in case anybody was wondering. But yeah, I mean, this man manu bull depending on his jump shot which i have i have heard isn't the best in game but like look how tall that man is bro like i think he's got the lamello size up but i think it's the kobe escape i do believe you guys can correct me if i am wrong there but i mean he's gonna be able to move man like look at a misdirection like like doing the misdirection like that is insane to have on manu bull looking at his jump shot i mean that's not a bad release okay people are gassing it people are saying get a terrible jump shot no, nah, that is a good release. Yes, it's not like, you know, some crazy, I don't know, KPJ base with like Kuzma up or like Oscar up or like, yeah, it doesn't have the best jump shot in the game. But for, but for a card that is seven foot seven, eight foot five wingspan, the best player model in the game, like just look how glitchy he's going to be at going to the basket. He's going to actually be unstoppable around the rim. I mean, I'm so excited to test out Manu Bull. He can move at a high level. He can shoot threes. He's got pretty much every single badge in the game. Like, he's just going to be so dominant at that center and power forward position. But let's go green on more three. And let's get on to the Dark Matter Hero Lock and Manu Bull gameplay. Into the Clutch M online game here with the Dark Matter Manu Bull. We do have the matchup of the Titans. We got the Dark Matter Manu Bull versus the Dark Matter Yao Ming going head to head at the center position. We are able to knock down that three ball there on the first play. Trying to find Manute Bull here, out running in transition, 83 speed, going all the way right at his son, and he's going to get that layup to go. I mean, Manute Bull is just going to be so dominant at the center position. Like, there's really no card in the game that can do what this card does. Like, I know that Yao Ming's going to be amazing, but look at that contest there from Manute, and we're able to snag that rebound. Looking to push the ball here in transition, trying to create some space. Manute Bull going inside, trying to hit him with a little pump fake. I meant to go up with that. Trying to find Manute on the inside. We got a little bit of space. Get him to jump, and we're just going to push Bull Bull out of the way and get that easy dunk to go as look at Manute Bull flying here on the defensive end like this card he just looks like he's going to be the best card in the game my opponent can actually move he's got some pretty good dribble stakes but great defense here from the squad Manute Bull getting that rejection on Yao Ming as we got a 7 nothing lead right now Manute Bull just impacting the game on both sides of the ball he's got already his rim take activated look at Manute Bull getting the steal as well we're pushing that in transition Manute Bull gonna fade from the three-point line and we can't knock it down that was kind of heat check i just had to shoot that man i had to shoot that frontward fade because if i green that that would have been absolutely crazy but look at the defense here from kpj gotta watch that shot from tim thomas great defense here from the squad gotta jump at that manute bull trying to get a contest look at the rebound from xavier mcdaniel uh, xavier mcdaniel throwing out to manute bull in transition and i mean guys this card 
He's the best card in the game, and I really don't think it's going to be close. Now, is he worth it? Is he worth the MT? Absolutely not, unless you got millions and millions, or you buy millions and millions of MT on an alt account or something like that. It's just not going to be worth it, but if you do... I mean, he is the best card in the game. I don't think there's even a question between him and Yao Ming. I know Yao is still a great card, you know, at the center position, but I'm running Manute Ball at center too. Like, I could be running him at power forward right now, and that would just be so overpowered because unless your opponent doesn't have Taco Fall or Manute Ball themselves, I mean, they're just going to get cooked, you know, pretty much every single play. Look at Manute pulling up from that mid range. Like, his jump shot's actually solid. It's definitely not my favorite release in the game, but. For a seven foot seven card, you know, eight foot five wingspan, it is definitely a fine release. Look at the contest there on Yao Ming, or sorry, not on Yao Ming, on Luka Doncic, and able to grab that board. I mean, the card can just fly on the defensive end, pretty much contest every single shot. And that's why he's gonna be so valuable, you know, just as a card, because he's literally a giant with one of the, he's like Taco Fall and Yao Ming put together. It's kind of how I'm viewing this card because he takes, you know, Taco's like size wingspan player model, but then he's got Yao's like a little bit more speed because Taco's a little bit slower than Yao. He takes, you know, Yao Ming's a little bit higher three ball and better jump shot kind of, you know, takes the two card together, put them together. And that's pretty much what you get with Manu Bowl as we're playing some amazing defense. We have my opponent and an absolute box. Can we grab that board? Yes, we do with Hidu Turkulu. We got to get the ball here back into my man Manu Bowl. I do want to try, you know, to, to knock down maybe another couple threes. My opponent is playing some good defense, but he's not stopping Manu Bowl down low, man. He is not stopping him. If you get anywhere near the paint in the key, it's just going to be a wide open standing dunk every single time. It does not matter. My opponent's got Yao Man he's got a really good squad i'm not sure who he has at power forward who does he have the four he has i think uh kg at the four i believe that's kg at the four it could be wrong so he's got a really tall team as well but it doesn't matter it literally does not matter you know for manute bowl we're also playing some great defense here on the perimeter i probably shouldn't have jumped yeah that was on me for jumping and giving him his first points on the ball game he's gonna go into the full court press and I can tell my opponent's going to start to sweat now. He's definitely he's definitely sitting up in his chair, and he's really going to be locked in here to try to stop Manute Bull. We're looking to go around that screen, though, trying to find him with some space. Manute Bull attacking that paint, and if you get down low, there is just no stop in this Manute Bull card. Like, absolutely no chance you're stopping or staying in front of this card. He just feels so quick, even though his speed, acceleration, speed with ball, all that type of stuff, you know, might say he's not the quickest card in the game. He feels so fast with the ball in his hands as we're looking to play good defense. Got to watch that shot. Look Look at the contest, man. Just this card is so glitchy on the defensive end. Spin dunk me, Manute Bowl. This card is just absolutely ridiculous, man. He is just... There's no words, man. He's just hes just crazy. There's just no words for this Manute Bowl card. He is just so overpowered and such a glitch. Look at the defense here from the squad. Get that garbage out of here, man. Nope, nope, nope. Out of my game, man. Out of my game, Manute Bowl. Just what a crazy performance. I don't think there's really much else to show with this card. I mean, he's just going to be the best card in the game, and it's not even close. I mean, his wingspan, his size, his player models, height, his three ball rating, his, you know, shooting Hall of Fame badges, his jump shot's not that bad. He feels so quick in game. He covers so much ground on the defensive end. And once you get down low with the card, whether it's off the dribble, whether it's in the post, you know, whether it's underneath the basket... He's going to make every single dunk and every single lay. Probably get a ton of crazy good and one animations with that wingspan, you know, being super long at eight feet five. So, I mean, he, he's just he's just ridiculous. Is he worth the MT? No, not even close. You know, 10 plus million MT for a card is never worth locking in my eyes for, you know, 99.9999999999% of people. If you're in that point, one, 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 one. If, if you're in that percentage, that if you're in that percentile, then yes, it might be worth it. But for, for pretty much everybody playing the game, he's just not going to be worth it. But super fun to try him out. Definitely was fun. Hopefully you guys did enjoy watching him. Just absolutely dominate. And maybe I'll get you guys some more videos with Manute Bull here in the future. Try out some like squad builder ideas. But yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy. And let me know what you guys think about Manute Bull. Do you guys think he's the best card in the game? And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.